with both of your feet pointing straight forward, meaning toes are not out and they are directly beneath each, each hip socket, so which means you're not in a wide stance. You're gonna start here and then put your right foot just half a foot step or a foot step in front of the left. That's what that looks like. So once you're in that staggered stance, you're staying here when you do both sides. Left side first. Because the left foot is back, it's going to help me shift my weight back to my heel, my knee goes soft, and now my hip naturally tucks a little bit under. We're not forcing anything, we're just allowing the knee to unlock and letting ourselves feel heavy on the right foot. The Sorry, the left foot. The right foot shouldn't have any weight on it, but what you can think about is the arch of the foot. If it melts into the floor, it'll help me turn slightly more to the left. Once I'm here, I'm going to exhale as I melt my body down, kind of like a yoga bend down or a fishing rod that's getting pulled directly down. So it's gonna look like this. So my head goes first, my neck, my whole spine. As I'm coming down, I'm still keeping that left side pulled back. So you see my left knee, my left hip is behind my right. No weight really on the right foot, it's kind of pushing me to the left. And that left knee is right on top of the heel. It is not forward, it's back. So this is the bottom. I wanna feel very round in my back. Once I'm here, take a breath in. Then exhale to stand up, pushing through the heel. So the heel should feel like it's pushing the floor away. And the slower you stand up, the better, because you're gonna feel that the hip keeps getting pulled underneath you and down into that heel as you stand up. At no point should the knee lock out because then it wasn't driven by the hip, it was driven by the quad. So once again, you're here, exhale. Head comes down, spine rounds and follows, knee stays shifting back. Exhale all the way down. Once you're at the bottom here, make sure that knee is right on top of the heel. It shouldn't go forward. Take a breath in. Exhale. And you're pushing solely through that left heel, almost like you're imagining pulling the ground backward with the heel to coil yourself back up to standing. When you do the right foot, you're still keeping the left staggered stance. So left foot is still behind, but now we're gonna be doing the right leg. So because my left foot is behind, I'm gonna shift my weight forward over that right leg, and that knee is gonna be a little more bent forward compared to the left. Same thing, exhale. So now the weight is no longer on the heel, it is now in the arch of this front foot. That's the difference. Take a breath in. Exhale, push through the arch, right where the arch and the heel starts to meet, that's where I want you to drive. And when you come up, your right side will be forward of the left just by default. You should feel heavy on the arch of the foot. Notice my knee is more forward than the left side that we started with. So weight is in the arch of the foot. Here's where you stay. Exhale again. Let the whole spine round down. Make sure that knee is slightly forward to get your weight in the arch of the foot. Exhale, drive up. And if you push through the arch of the foot where the heel and the arch start to meet on the inner edge of the foot, you're gonna feel more glute working on that right side. Make sure when you do this, if you're working on the left, stay loaded on the left. If you're working on the right, stay loaded on the right.